Welcome back, tubers. We have got another little progress report, I guess you would say. I have got a 7S pack built of 157 cells. I'm going to call them 160 cell packs just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is testing, and seven. Now, this one, that one, and that one have had multiple tests uh, with the, the eye chargers. And basically this is a product for a review from Banggood and I have been testing the hell out of it for the past month. I have printed out some little, well, a little stand on Thingiverse so it sits in there and it sits nice. That one there is onto its third test and of course that's never going to focus on that. That is 353.99, so 354 amp hours for that one and that has been within 3 amp hours for the last 3 tests. Uh, this one's uh, 366 amp hours. Now, I believe that was actually the best result. It come in at about 360 most of the tests that I did on that. And this one's 352 amp hours. These ones are yet to be done because I don't have any bus mar materials yet. Some of the common questions I've had through uh, DIY Powerwalls on Facebook is why I'm not fusing every cell anymore. Well, I've got two cells here, three cells, and then three cells all joined together by nickel strip and then spot welded on. And then I've just got, let's see if we can even hope to have this focus, soldered the on the negative side just the, the copper to join it up. And on the positive side, we have the 5 amp, I think, blow fuse wire. And then in the same configuration. And so far, that's worked really well for me. However, I wouldn't recommend this as a way moving forward to do your pack because we need to test it and make sure it's not as safe as the single cells. But, I mean, the man is fuses that I've had blow in all my cells is so very few that I'm happy to go down this road and test it. So the way they've got the eye charger hooked up at the moment is I'm doing regenerative discharge so it'll do 30 amp regenerative with one pack and if I wasn't using the regenerative and just blasting the air out the back and heating everything up it would be about 8 amps or 7.5 amps I believe doing a discharge. I'm not going to run through the menu structure and actually do a conventional review on this. Instead of I'm going to test it and I'm going to recommend it based on day-to-day -day use so as long as I'm still having this in a video it's still working and I do have two now so uh, no one's not charging at the moment but it doesn't matter so this power wall here is still in use it is still being charged by the MP 7210A I don't it works but it doesn't work very well and I got the Nightcore the IMAX and the two Opus and the inverter running and the inverter runs this power supply here and it runs that light up there so it is not the best way to run this eye charger because it only does about 30 to 36 volts i think maximum input voltage to do the well output actually for the regenerative so i've just got it hooked up up here and some nice heavy genuine silicon cable actually the joining up there and up to there it is not fused it's just straight in because if these short circuits they blow up anyway that is the unfortunate uh, thing about doing regenerative discharges you can't hook up this the outgoing power to the in power internal incoming power everything just blows up so uh what else am i doing i'm doing a bit of cleaning up i'm trying to get some more cells together to do the Hi next there. 7s I'm pet Cortana, and i'm here to help a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Really? You can use your voice or... Shut up. Right, yeah, where I was up to? Um, I'm going to do a bit of cleaning up in here and try to raise some more funds, I guess you'd say. I have a uh, cell 5 I'm going to get rid of. I'll give that away to whoever wants to pick it up because I always said I was going to give it away. And it is useless, and it is only 95 amp hours. I've tested a bunch of these cells down in the power shed, and they come out to about 150 to 175 amp hours. And these ones here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Um, these couple here fell and are all broken at the end and missing a couple of cells and they are cells that have been rejected by me I, I had them in service I think all of these have been in service for at least 12 months so they are of poor quality and they are low capacity cells they're not good cells in any of these packs but if somebody would like to buy them let me know we can work something out I don't do post as you know down here I've only got half a container left. Well, not even, it's not even half a container. It's a quarter of a container. 
probably not even 100 cells left in there. A lot of people have asked me whether I rewrap all my blue cells for the outside. No, basically what I do is I just keep them all in here. Now these ones in stacks up the back are the horrible ones that are really hard to clean up. But they're still there just in case. That was 2,424 amp hours, milliamp hours. And all of the ones at the front are typically a lot cleaner and are ready to almost go in straight away. So that's how I do that. I've also got a box of 2200s to zero volts there. I'll probably sell that box too if anybody's keen. There you go, tubers. There's nothing much more happening. Just still building my power wall. Yeah, it does take a little bit of time to build these bigger packs, but I can guarantee you these bigger packs are going to run longer than it took to build them. So I'm happy with this, this way of doing things. A lot of people have asked me about Jehu's builds and stuff like that, and I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're clean, they're put together well, it is simple, but it's not really cost effective. Um, would I ever build something that small? I, I would definitely do it just for fun and just to see how it works, but it's completely impractical on a whole house environment like I'm doing here. We're not playing little games with little cells. We're, I'm building something that can power a house for days and days and days without sun. So I hope that answers those questions. You can stop asking me now. <laughs> um, there we go, tubers. That's an update. Next video will be me going through the menu structure of this eye charger. I'll try and get that out directly after this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.